Confidence is something internal and every day can be different. I'm grateful for my healthy body and have respect for what a woman's body is capable of. I don't see its shape so much anymore. Still there are days where I'm not happy with my appearance but then I remember the greatness of every human body. Self appreciation is often mistaken for vanity. Self appreciation is recognizing all your qualities it is accepting your flaws and maybe starting to like them. Now I want to share some principles on how to make it easier to love yourself, which I discuss more on my podcast, 20s with no brain. The first step to love yourself is to abandon the criticism. We are our hardest critics. Remember, thoughts become things, so start talking with yourself in kind ways. Choose nutrition and choose nurturing thoughts. Second is that you have to stop caring um, about what others think and scaring yourself with threatening thoughts. I have observed that people create overwhelming circumstances out of small situations. Your mind is such a good movie director and sometimes creates horror movies. Try to pull back if you recognize you get lost in your thoughts or Overinterpret a situation. Life is a movement and a roller coaster. Things happen, don't get stuck. I still have to work on internalizing patience. You have to think of yourself and your mind as a garden with flowers. A good example of the power of patience is when you cultivate a garden. At first, you find barren soil and then you turn it over so, and even though it looks like nothing is happening, later on great things are happening you don't become a butterfly overnight you have to to take care of yourself and trust the timing of your life be patient with yourself life makes sense backwards if you ask a human being uh, if they have good self-esteem people answer of course i do in reality when you are critical of yourself there is no self-esteem neither when you feel envy insecurity resentment jealousy or anger you are out of balance and that makes you unable to completely love yourself if you ask people would you allow a garbage bag to be thrown in your living room they immediately respond no the question is then why do you put garbage in your brain you do it when you feed negative thoughts pain and guilt resentment envy and sensitivity anxiety hatred bitterness laziness stress anger rage criticism and so much more we are human it is true and we are lovely imperfect we can learn to love ourselves little by little enter the hall of praise when i feel overwhelmed sad or criticized by others i like to go back to my closest friends and turn internal I try to go to the hall of praise and give myself a bath of popularity. I remember what I already achieved and how strong I am. People might think that's weird, but that's what's weird is not doing it. Um, why not recognize how good we are? Critics can be very helpful, but don't internalize everything. Think about the credibility of the person telling you to change and have they achieved what you are dreaming of how did they achieve it not every opinion matters just remember that fourth pick your role models wisely what helps me figure out people and sort out critics is becoming aware of my breathing meditating is good and makes a big difference and helps you listening to your intuition five is don't do to others what they would do to you and what you wouldn't want them to do to you. We probably know this rule. Six is a lot of our mindset is also dependent on our eating habits. So eat healthy, eat good food, not over processed with good energy. Well, I hope uh, this article helped you to remember how to take care of yourself. What are you going to connect to your inner child? I wish you a sunny day. Bye.